Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, I was offloading my kayaks and I wanted to do a quick little video on the truck bed extender right here. The good parts and the bad parts. If you're thinking about getting a kayak, if you're thinking about getting a truck bed extender, so here we go. I got you now. You almost got me. All right, so a truck bed extender can be really awesome and it can allow you to haul, you know, two or more kayaks at one time and it'll save you on buying a trailer. But you'll find out the more you use these, the more weary you get of taking it off, putting it on and stacking and problems with, you know, things falling off. So the first thing I want to go over is the good parts about truck bed extenders. So one good part is that they allow you to transport a really long kayak, whereas if you have a short bed, which this is the long bed, if you have a short bed Toyota or truck, you're gonna have issues with hauling a long kayak, even the Outback at 12 feet. So those 14, 15 foot kayaks are gonna be not really fit in your truck very well. So a truck bed extender like this one I got from Harbor Freight, um, allows you to do that. So whether you buy an expensive one or a cheap one, this one was like 39 bucks at Harbor Freight with a 20% off coupon. It works great, but you can see after one year of use, it starts to rust. Like this is after one year. See the, the rust? But that's not bad. You can take that off with some rust remover and repaint it. And You're probably going to get a couple seasons out of one of these cheap Harbor Freight uh, truck bed extenders. Now if you buy the more expensive one, I'm sure they'll last a lot longer. But you got to wash them off and you got to keep them painted. And if you get one, I highly recommend putting uh, some lights or uh, some reflectors on here, like these right here. And uh, I would also get you a set of tail lights for it because I know in some states you have to have, if it extends off the truck more than like four feet, you got to have a light somewhere back here along with a flag. So check those state rules because some of those highway patrols will sneak up on you and get you. So you can see with mine, I've got the reflectors. And I put a flag on there and I'll usually take a headlamp and just stick it underneath here or under the ratchet straps and it provides me for that light that um, can get you in trouble for not having a light and not getting in trouble. So you can see it extends off quite a ways right here. Sometimes you'll get those usually teenagers run right up behind you with these and they don't really pay attention and they can hit you with these and I'm not sure about the insurance implications. That's kind of like a more of a downside to these uh, truck bed extenders. They steal these right here and having a lock down here will help and having maybe a lock here will keep, keep them from doing it. A lot of people will take this off and put it in their truck when they get to the boat ramp. So here's how I lock my kayak. As you can see I have um, some some bike locks that I just you know interlock right here. You can see I just run it through the scupper holes right there to the handle and really you got to take this one off to get to this one and this one's locked so it works out. Usually I run it down through the Mirage Drive and then around to here and it works. Lastly I want to go over the parts that I have a hard time with the truck bed extender. One your truck's really long and it doesn't want to fit in a lot of parking spots. Usually you got to park in two spots and if you're on the beach or in highly congested places, you're not going to be able to park anywhere. So a roof rack wins over that or just keep it in the back of your truck. The Outback will usually fit in a really long one, um, one person parking spot if it's just in the back of your truck without the bed extender. If you get to the very end of the parking lot spot, you might be able to just barely be over the back side. The other part that I'm not really happy about these truck bed extenders and it's, it can be fixed it is right down here. All right. So if you look right here, this is where it makes contact with it. And a lot of times I'll put just a towel underneath here or a sponge or a shoe or something to give it some cushion because this bar, if you leave it on here too long, will make a dent in that plastic. So if you leave these kayaks on your truck for like a day or more, you're going to have a dent in the bottom of your kayak, especially if they're stacked like this. Uh, usually I stack like one on the side and one, you know, that way they're, all the weight's not on top of one of the kayaks, like on the Outback, because this yellow kayak will dent, all right, really easy, because the hole's not very thick. Usually I'll like have one kind of over to the side here, 
and then um, but it depends on how much I've got in the back like right now I usually put my rods in here or rods over there and you just kind of run out of space all right another thing is you got to figure out how you're going to strap these things together all right because usually you have to have at least three anchor points like one to hold them together another one to, the last one to the truck bed extender which I did up here with this one this is usually where I put the other one right here and it's got over the top it goes over the top right here and they're in there pretty good now or if you really want to get weird with it put one right here over the back and you're safe you could really just get away with this one and this one and because that one holds it together that one would hold it to the truck because if these shift at all it'll flop over the all these will be loose and the kayaks come right out of the back of your truck but almost had it happen uh, the, the, this yellow one fell over to the side and then the ratchets came on loose and I almost lost them in the middle of Casino Beach via DeLuna Drive in the middle of the in the middle of beach traffic. Alright and the last thing about these truck bed extenders is that if you're on vacation or you have to take these kayaks off or you need to use your truck while you're on vacation or something you have to take these off dismount them and then put them back up there every time you go to use them and that gets a little old so like i was packing up and moving so much that i was constantly taking these on taking them off putting them on take them off putting them on take them off that got kind of old after a while and also if you're going to leave these on here like this you should really take them take at least one of the take this one off of this one or take them both off this truck bed extender uh, at night because you'll have a dent in it the next day this hole is in this outback is pretty thick but it's not that thick and you'll have a little crevice in your kayak the next day trust me i've done this quite a bit and i've put dents in this thing quite a bit usually if you put it out in the sun it'll pop back out or if you go fish with it come back it'll be popped out but it will put a dent in your kayak that's why i like putting something underneath it or putting putting something soft on this underneath there will kind of help prevent that i have actually had these on here for like two or three days i just took like a pair of flip flops or a sponge or something and shoved it underneath there and you're fine um usually it depends on how hot the day is and how cold the day is and because these holes are kind of thin the outback's thick the quest is thin those ocean kayaks are super thin uh, if if you had two ocean kayaks stacked up definitely take them down but yeah i just wanted to go ahead and put that out there these are just some of my thoughts and some of my experiences with these truck bed extenders um, i personally went ahead and bought a trailer the other day to just to so i could keep the kayaks on the trailer and just you know run up attach the trailer go come back dismount the trailer and not have to take the kayaks on and off and on and off and uh, i can carry more uh, stuff because like with this it cuts down on my storage space like with coolers and camping gear and stuff the back of my truck's already full and i can't take much but if the kayaks are on the trailer i can take a lot more put the bikes in the back of the truck so all right see so check it out this is what i was talking about a little dent in the bottom of your kayak let's see if i can show you can you see that little dent? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little dent right there. Right there. So you can see where it's been sitting right there. That dent will come out once it gets hot. But it's been sitting like this for two days. And that's the kind of dent you get. A little bitty indenture. So if this was a thin kayak, like an ocean kayak, the dent would be even worse. That was with another kayak sitting on top of it. That's a neglection, but it happens when you're on the road and you're traveling a lot, so. If you got any comments on this or anything to add to this, feel free to put it in the comments below. That's how we all learn from each other. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Yak Motley, and I'll see you guys later.